hi friends and friendly subscribers welcome back to my channel this is inner hill tarot and today we're going to do well it's already unboxed but we're going to do a silent flip through and hot takes well personal takes because it's already out for a while uh, personal takes of this herb crafter tarot um it's a mass market deck which is really beautiful as well um This deck is really funny because I purchased it as used, which is like it's already unboxed, like I said. But um, the deck itself is not even open yet. Um, well, it's already a little bit open, actually. So let's see um, what's going on with this. And um, yeah, like, um, like always, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, share and uh, comments if you already used this uh, deck before already what do you feel working with it um, do you like it um, is it easy to read because it's a herb so um yeah that's one of the reason it take me so long time uh, not to purchase this deck because also i wasn't sure how is it going to uh, read for me but it comes with a really nice guidebook written by Latisha Guthrie and artwork with by Joanna Powell Colber. So it's um yeah, it's really interesting deck. It came out in 2019 by US Games and I like it the way that uh, the guidebook is big now and it's also telling you the story of the herb itself and how to craft with certain kind of um, energy from the archetypes like if you're subscribed to my channel and you watch some of my videos you would already know by now i always like a uh, deck especially tarot w um rws s um decks that's not totally a clone but also have something to offer which is i think this deck have in spades okay so actually let's start the silent flip through and we shall see what we find out okay so guys enjoy the silent flip through now
Okay guys, we just finished the silent flip through of this herb crafter tarot. And what a duck, right? Um, I really appreciate uh, the artist who created this deck um, and to put the energy and the, um, what do you call it? The archetype, the archetypal energy with certain kind of herbs like this high priestess with mugwort um, because for most of the um, the herbs or the flowers that they put in here i i don't know how they can match us with that for example uh, i mean the empress with the rose it's quite obvious because in a lot of um because roses also uh, mystically speaking it's talking about productive and it's about the symbol of truth which is also connected with uh, the truth that and only with the truth we can produce something true in my opinion right um but for example with the emperor with hemlock the hero of one with cacao i mean cacao is the chocolate um not just like chocolate that you can find in cadbury or something but like a real plant medicine ceremony or cacao ceremony um, that can also be a teaching um, a teaching lessons you know to your subconscious but um, outside of cacao there's a lot of other plant medicine as well so I really have to read the guidebook actually why they put the cacao as hierophon for example and the lovers as hot turn for it also I don't really get it a lot of this pairing is i i can't make connection really um maybe also because i'm not really familiar with the herbs and all of the workings um of herbs in general um so it's a big lesson for me <laughs> to to obtain this kind of deck that i'm very far remote and far-fetched than than my um you know usual understanding of the archetypes right so for example the strength with garlic it's um it's quite obvious right because for me with the garlic is one of the symbolism how to stop uh, vampires and the vampires um it's not just like in a horror movie but in real life also it can be like work or you know environment or people that draining our energy and to eat with garlic garlic actually have a potency on like boosting our um what you call it to fight off and kill bacteria basically so to stop like infection or something like this if i'm not wrong please correct me in, if i'm wrong in the comments okay i don't want to be sound like Oh, I know everything. No, <laughs> I'm still learning as well. Um, but if I'm not wrong, it's like to boost your um, immunity system as well that can be compromised by, you know, by eating the wrong food or uh, eating junk food or also, you know, with your environment again. Um, because a lot of things can make the body immunity system down right not just because certain things it can be everything like stress at work you know and then not eating regularly not sleep regularly it add up it, it, it all vampires <laughs> to your life actually and yeah of course garlic can give you strength so in that sense i understand the correlation right so that's why i can tell the story but for example, the hermit with Usnea. What what the fuck is Usnea? <laughs> Sorry, am I I'm cursing, but this is the first time I hear about this um herb. So like for example, justice with cannabis. Um, what is so justice about the cannabis really? Um, I I don't quite get it. So I'm kind of I think I'm going to be heavily relying on the guidebook if I really. Um, seriously thinking of working with this deck 
um, Death with Marigold. Uh, yeah, it is kind of makes sense because it comes from the Mexican um, tale, isn't it? With the Marigold, it's the Day of the Dead. They put all of these um, flowers in in the if i'm not wrong in the grave of the people who are yeah passed away actually i think but it's kind of tricky for me because i'm also um take thinking of marigold as something that you can create a bouquet of and you put on krishna or vishnu like in indian lore or something like this or even ganesh sometimes you see like he's wearing a you know marigold um, bouquet or marigold like um, necklace something like that so um, yeah it's a little bit hard for me to read especially with the monarch butterfly here yeah it's not very easy temples with camellia also i don't know the devil with blackberry the tower with mushroom why <laughs> I really need to read a lot if I want to work with this deck, I think. Um, yeah, for example, the moon with Datura, I, I understand this because Datura is notorious, a notorious plant, actually. And sometimes it's um, it becomes a mix in a plant medicine. Uh, but you really have to be careful with the, you know, with how much you put because Datura is something that can bring out uh, your unconscious or your repressed memory come out and sometimes you can get blackout ex ex actually and then like sometimes people misuse it and put it in a mix of plant medicine to take advantage of you so this is one of the reason Datura is one of the reason why if you um work with the plant medicine you have to work with people that you really really trust and you really know because a lot of like horror stories like people go to south america to do plant medicine work and then the so-called shaman is just like people who use um or misuse the trust and um they sleep in datura and you black out basically um you go black out and then they then, then funny stories like rape or like stolen things uh, come out to the service and uh, I mean plant medicine a lot of people are very innocent in a way when you want to do it and they just trust but shaman is also a human being in my opinion and um, we always have to put our thinking caps in doing something you know especially things with that altered our consciousness like plant medicines don't this is a public service announcement <laughs> don't do plant medicines on your own um in the middle of nowhere in the south america um i mean i'm not going to try to deter you to do something especially with plant medicine i'm also a practitioner and it been helping my life tremendously but always do it with caution okay we always do it with caution and like the moon with datura is very potent be careful guys um i don't understand why they don't put uh, sunflower as, uh, as the sun actually they put it uh, quite early as the magician for example i mean i in a way i understand because the sunflower is the magician it's uh, follow the sun and also um the way the seeds is like um it's like it's very interesting if you see the seeds of sunflower some part of it is going to the left the rings and some of it going to the right so it's like it's 
when when the seed is goes out naturally it's like this you know to make sure that um the seed is goes to like very separate ways not just only in one one area so in a way i understand but i but maybe also <laughs> this is our um regular thinking right the sun with the sunflower so awakening with Tulsi is also makes sense to me because Tulsi is the plants that um, that um, Tulsi is the plants that you give when you pray to Vishnu and also Krishna. Um, Krishna is one of the avatar of the Vishnu God, which is like the pr preserve uh, the preserver god in hindu pantheon and krishna is uh, someone who always wear like a peacock feather uh, in his hat which means that he's enlightenment enlightened so tulsi is like you give tulsi to him to gain insight in the sense with the awakening um yeah and it's judgment isn't it the card is like glow up card it's very interesting the world with pachamama the earth literally pachamama is the earth the mother earth yes um ace of sword as yarrow is also very curious because yarrow is also um, something that you can take as is as salad actually but most of people don't do it because it's gross everywhere and a lot of times that dog poo on it so <laughs> you don't really <laughs> take it as it is you have to like kind of cook it or something but as an heir of sword an uh, ace of sword i'm i don't i don't know where the connection is yet actually so i have to read the book as well and so yeah basically that is my feeling of a lot of um the card on this deck uh both uh, major arcana and minor arcana a lot of them uh some of them or few of them rather i instantly connect and i know the story and i can explain like what i did but a lot of them i'm like why you know <laughs> why this why these elements uh, with this uh, herb or flower or um, yeah I don't understand it like three of earth with raspberry why four of air with lavender four of air is oh I understand this yeah four of air is four of swords with like um, basically sleep and take a rest of course with lavender because lavender is um when you cannot get to sleep, you use lavender tea or you use lavender smell to help you calming down your nervous system to sleep. Oh, so it is a lot of things This makes sense, actually. But like, for example, like this, four of water, mint. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Because four of water is like boredom and you know like um losing hindsight and you didn't see the ideas that's laying around and mint is like very re refreshing you know helping the water to be refreshing for you so i don't get it why is it in the four of water okay so yeah so that is my personal take of the Herb Crafters Tarot. Please let me know if you already work with it as well and leave it in the comments because I, yeah, again, I should have listened to my guts and stay away from this deck because a lot of them, I don't really get it. But if you work with this deck already, please do let me know how do you feel working with it. And do you work with it regularly and with clients um, or for your personal reading? Do you use it for cooking, um, for your guidance of menu of the day or something like that? If the energy came out, it's probably good. 
um yeah i would be really interested in hearing from you guys how do you work with this deck okay please leave me a comment thank you again for watching this video i hope this video is working for you and please don't forget to subscribe because subscribing is one of the ways that make my channel keep on growing and to help me and comments would help me to know that what am i doing is benefited for you or not you know and all of those good stuff thank you so much guys and have a good day and night anytime you watch this video bye and see you in the next one bye